before we get into this video of doing top five and bottom five, stop the video. Let me know what your favorite and your worst product of April was. I'm just saying, you know, we got our favorites, but we need to know what we need to give side eye to. You know what I'm saying? Because some of these y'all warned me about and we're going to see. Hold tight. Let's get into my top five and bottom five of April. Let's go. Hey beauties and curls, it is Melissa Q. Welcome back for another video. If you hadn't subscribed already, go ahead and smash the subscribe button, yes. And the notification bell, that is really important because that lets you know whenever I upload and I am uploading every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with some bonus videos in between. And I do have a second channel. I just want to let you guys know, Missy Q Memoirs. I do actually, I do more hauls. I do like uh, get ready with me's and it's more way more laid back than this channel. But I just want to let you guys know I am also on YouTube community. I will put a link down below. That's where I actually put my polls. You guys help me out with my next videos, upcoming videos, and I also post when I'm doing giveaways, when I have posted something on my second channel, and when I've posted or if I'm on YouTube Live. I'm over there, and a lot of you guys have caught on. I do post it also on Twitter to let you guys know, and social media-wise, I am very active on Instagram, Twitter. I'm getting back into Snapchat, y'all, and I also have a Facebook page, but you guys helped me vote on YouTube community that you guys wanted to see a different thing. We did talk about this in a YouTube live that you guys would love to see themed favorites because favorites can get kind of boring. So last month I had, it was like spa at home. This month we are talking about top five, bottom five. You guys helped me out with that one. I really like these themes, but yeah, no more jibba jabba. Let's get into this video. So we're going to do a countdown from five to one being the worst. And then we're going to do a countdown of my favorites, five being the least and one being the best of the month. So let's start off with a happy note and let's go with my fifth favorite item of April. And I do have to say it goes to the new Gold Bond Ultimate Hydrating Cream. This is the Radiance Renewal Cream Oil. It contains coconut oil, cocoa butter, and African shea butter. I really do love this. And it says it exfoliates and nourishes visibly dry skin. It's a gentle exfoliator as well. I really do enjoy this. Oh, it feels so good. And it's non-greasy. It is a thick consistency. But um, it, it's kind of like a thicker version to me of the Nivea um, almond oil like the deep hydrating lotion that I really love in the blue bottle this one is a little bit thicker so if you have drier skin you will love this does not leave your hands greasy and I feel like it duels kind of like as a hand cream you know how lotions some lotions are not hand creams but this one definitely hydrate hydrates your skin and it's not greasy at all so definitely a favorite number five of my worst this is a worst product not because it's not hydrating what makes it one of my least favorite products of the month is that this is the pearl essence coconut rose hydrating face mist and i was trying to see if this was a dupe to the herbivore rose mist coconut water mist and y'all this evaporates so fast yeah you can hydrate feels good on the skin but this evaporates so quickly that you don't even, you just, your face got wet. But it didn't hydrate it. You know what I'm saying? Like the Mario Badescu, uh, like the other face mist that I love, the Mass Smashbox Primer Water, the MAC Fix Plus. Those are really hydrating. This one just goes into oblivion and it just feels like you never put anything on your face. Just like right now. It feels like I didn't spray this at all. Something in here, it tan, it tends to kind of dry out the skin, and it does have witch hazel, which witch hazel kind of dries out my skin. Um, I didn't realize that, but this, I guess, is more of a toner, and I wish it would say that this is more of a toner, but they said that you can use this over makeup, and I don't know. This is not a setting spray. Although it has glycerin and some things in it, it just does not feel hydrating at all. But now that I know that this is a toner, it's still not my favorite because the way that they tell you to use it, 
it's just not the way that I use it and I'm still going to use it but it's just not my favorite you know of the month I didn't like it on my face that's what I'm saying not like that number four goes to my Maui Moisture Heal and Hydrate Shea Butter Hair Mask this is so good whether you have relaxed hair or if you have curly hair I think you would really like this product it smells so good it's under ten dollars it is a really good deep conditioner this is like this rivals a lot of my high-end deep conditioners I highly recommend you trying this if you like tropical coconut scents you will love this and this lingers in the hair if you don't like scents then I would steer away from this one because this one is scented and um, I really do enjoy it. I can use it as a leave-in and a deep conditioner. I do have a more in-depth review on this. I'll link it over here so you guys can check it out, but I like it. Number four least favorite. Let's talk about it. This is the Wet n Wild BB Cream 8-in-1 SPF sunscreen is supposed to conceal smooth, even tone, prime, brighten, hydrate, and control oil hydrate control oil i feel like that this one kind of like is a contradiction i used this and my face looked horrible and i was like i wonder at first i was like oh it looks good but it started to break up in my face and i took it off like it was that bad it was like you know when you do better without it than with a product it is not worth buying this is definitely going to be in makeup regrets i'm just letting you know right now but this is definitely this is in the tan deep even the shade range is horrible like i don't usually wear deep okay how, how am i deep and i think they have like nine shades in this however many for me to be the deepest shade is whack you know what i mean but there's so many other wet and wild products that i do love but this one this bb cream that's why nobody's talking about it because it's not i don't think it's good has anybody tried it comment down below let me know if you've tried that bb cream i had i had high hopes although it's from the drugstore um Wet n Wild I some, sometimes is hit and mitts. Now they're on it when it comes to highlighters lately, but this, no ma'am. And it's from their older line, so I give them a pass because the photo focus is really good. But this BB cream right here, 8 and 1, pass. Okay, I do have to say, I know this isn't a bio, but this has made me want to get the full bottle of perfumes and I am coming with my favorite perfumes but this is Victor and Rolf's flower bomb this smells so good oh my husband was like what do you have on I was like that means I need to get it it smells so good it's like it's light it's pretty it's perfect for spring I think it's beautiful I think it's a great daytime brunch type of scent and it's just it's like a lightly floral you know what i mean it's like lightly sweet it just ooh, it just feels like you have a touch of sweetness on you know and i really really do like this this is one of those pretty musk like white musk scents i feel like um and i really do enjoy it and it lasts a super long time on me really enjoy it i'm so glad that, but this is one of my favorites i kept it in my purse by the way Comment down below, let me know if your favorites hang out in your purse because I pulled a lot of a lot of these from my purse. Okay, on to worst. Let's talk about another BB cream. I don't think BB creams, CC creams are pretty good that I've been trying, but the BB creams, no. This one is the Garnier BB Cream Miracle Skin Perfector. I really do like this. It's in medium deep. I don't like the fact that I feel like I'm the deepest shade. No shade, but don't throw shade on me brands but I am I should not be the deepest shade I didn't like this because this turn comes off more pink and it has a pink undertone rather than like a neutral or even a like it's more pink I think it would be better if it was a yellow undertone but this is a pink one and I don't think that it really works or complements my skin you know what I mean so it's a pass it was one of the worst and y'all know these I try to get through especially throughout the day but I'm not gonna even try it I feel like that can go to somebody else 
you know, not a bad product. It does hydrate. I like how it looks on the skin. It's just the wrong color. And BB creams, I know, are supposed to be more universal and everything. But the Maybelline, I think, hit it the nail on the head, which I'm going to go back to. But this Garnier, pass. Okay, so we are down to number two of our favorites. This is the second favorite. This is my number two. This is my deuce. Okay, y'all. I had to put in a cleaning product. Yes, this is lifestyle too, you know. This is the Miss Myers Clean Day Multi-Service Everyday Cleaner. And it removes dirt, refreshments. I got it in, what scent is this? A lemon verbena scent. This smells so good. If you want your house to smell like, like brand new, if you're wanting to sell your house, put this in it. They'll buy it. I really do enjoy this. It I, I just love the way that it scents. Uh, I just love the scent of this, and Myers have has me hooked. I think my sister has been using it for a while, but I haven't seen so many different advertisements. Oh, I've been seeing a lot of people that do clean with means, and I'll link a couple of people that I have watched that use this and do the cool clean with means. Natalie Munoz is one of my favorite, and then um, there's Stylish. Is it Styles by Casanova? Casanova Styles. I'll leave the links down below. I can't remember everybody, but I really do enjoy this. It smells so good. It comes in an array of scents, so if you don't like the lemony, this is a lemony fresh scent with a little kick to it, you know. Um, I really do enjoy this, and this is my number two. This is the e.l.f. This is the Molten Liquid Eyeshadow. Y'all, I wanted to love this so badly. This is in Rose Gold. I love this shade, but y'all, this creased on me so bad. It broke up so badly. Um, I would not use this by itself. Maybe to prime the eye if you were going to put something metallic on it. But I wanted to use this by itself. I feel like it's not worth the money even though e.l.f. is so inexpensive and they do have some really great products i would pass on this just because if you want an eye primer get an eye primer if you want something to set your lid but this creased on me like crazy and i do have oily lids if you have dry lids maybe this would work but if you have oily lids i would say this is a hard pass um i did enjoy the color is so beautiful but it just broke up on me and so disappointing because i tried this a couple of times so no bueno. Now let's talk about the best product of April. My hair wasn't laid, but my base was, y'all, because I used the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I am in number nine. This is so, so, so good. It is in my top three of my favorite foundations of all time. I really do enjoy it. Giorgio Armani just gets toned the undertone so well. I feel like our tones in terms of women of color, all skin tones, I feel like that Giorgio Armani just does a really good job with the yellow olivey skin tones. And um, this one is like one of my favorite foundations. It looks just so good. And it it's natural. You can build it up to a really good medium. I don't I wouldn't say that this is full coverage, but it it just looks so beautiful on the skin. It's luminous, but at the same time, it's just, it's your skin, but better and polished. And, you know, this was like $62 when I pay for it. It is worth the money. This is something that I would pay the full price for. If I'm out, I am putting this in my current project pan. I believe I need to run out of this one because this one I have had a while, but this is definitely a repurchase for me. And that's why it's number one of April. Okay, I have to say that this is the worst product of April and probably in my hair life. Y'all warned me too. I really got to listen to when y'all tell me that a product was the worst. I remember the TGA in hair mask, honey hair mask, which is phenomenal. Well, I got some comments in that video. And if you want to see that one, that's a really good deep conditioner, you guys. So... When I say this, I'm not throwing shade. I'm just letting you know that it doesn't work for my hair. This is the TGIN Twist and Define Cream. Y'all told me, y'all told me. No, it does not contain glycerin. But for some reason, this matted my hair like nothing else in my life. This does not work, okay? It made it super frizzy. I was on Instagram stories looking like somebody from Fraggle Rock. 
like this no bueno para me but it I, it does not contain any I was looking at the ingredients there are no there's no glycerin in here but it maybe it's the pathanol maybe it's just the formulation of this my hair did not like it at all it is the worst product of April if you like glycerin if you like like gels it remind me of the the mix that I make the, between the souffle and the the Curl Hansen smoothie that's what this looks like but it did not perform the same. My hair did not like it. If you have thicker hair, maybe your hair will like it. Or um, it's supposed to smooth, shiny, give it sh smooth, shiny twists. That did not happen with this. Let me know if this has worked for you. Maybe this works for a different hair like type. I have fine, thin, dry hair, and this made it drier. So it's something in there that my hair does not like, and that's why it's the worst product of April. I hope you guys enjoyed this type of video. Comment down below and let me know what you guys want to see next month. Or I better yet, I'll put a poll over here and you let me know. And there's also a giveaway, always in my favorites. I am giving away an Ipsy Glam bag. So make sure that you enter down below. Y'all know I use Gleam, but I am giving away a makeup bag. And hold tight, you guys, because I will be coming with a like huge giveaway just as a thank you i went to gym beauty and i really really enjoyed it i have more than enough things to share so i want to share it with you guys thanks so much for watching and i'll see beautiful you in the next video bye loveys.